Well, we're up here between Woodford and Waylong. This is the fifth place where the railroad makes a 180 degree turn. Got a train coming up right now. You can see it heads from pretty much Compass East. Goes around there behind that hill, Compass West, and that cut in the hillside up there is attached be loop. This is the approach to the loop, which is way long. And here comes a Union Pacific container train. Up the hill, railroad southbound, eastbound, all you old heads, Southern Pacific people, but he is going pretty much compass east right there. Chug on up the hill pretty good, doesn't appear to be struggling at all. of a struggle. I don't know if there's any drone pushers on this train or not. You can see him disappearing around that side of that uh, hill. There's a big deep cut over there. Well, he will be going back to Compass West. flanges of the wheels up against the rail. This is a pretty sharp curve and it is uh, super elevated. You need to can it so the train stick to the tracks a little better. A long train. Empty container holders, you can see how they fit down in there. They can put uh, box containers in those or they can put piggyback trailers inside those. It's geared for both of them. Piggies on the old style piggyback cars. Empty pigs. And there goes the head end of the train around the loop. All the tail end still dragging by us here. I don't know how long this train is. Suffice it to say, it's pretty long. Anyway, I thought that was a pretty cool shot. Looks like the 
end of this one's coming up on us. And the loop actually changes and there's the tail end of the train looking at the middle of the train. The loop is actually one of the places where it changes compass directions 180 degrees twice makes big 360. A little bit, uh, might even say uh, loop and a half before it's all said and done. What would that be? 520 or something like that? But anyway, uh, two of the places within about a mile and a half of each other where the tracks change direction 180 degrees three times, four times. Amazing.